Terrificon, Connecticut's biggest Comic Con, returns to Mohegan Sun August 9th to the 11th. Meet Billy D. Williams, Val Kilmer, Doctor Who's John Barrowman, and the voices from Animaniacs and Thundercats. New England's largest guest list of comic book artists from DC and Marvel Comics is at Terrificon on August 9th to the 11th at Mohegan Sun. Tickets on sale now at Terrificon.com. Hey, this is Paul and Wayne from the Countdown Movie and TV Reviews Podcast. Folks, did you know that the movie Total Recall was absolutely a dream? What? It no. So definitely it was, was absolutely not. a dream, man. What the hell? That is ridiculous. No, it's as well known. But you know what? If you want to hear arguments like this about movies, tune into the show. We do a countdown every week of a movie or TV related topic. And also movie reviews. You're mocking me, aren't no, you? No, I'm not. And we should stop using that stupid ass soundboard. How dare you? Well, there it is. Check us out on all your favorite podcatchers. Google us, we're everywhere. So not a dream. Hey there, this is John from Pino Comics. And I'm Lloyd, also from Pino Comics. And I'm the other John, and uh, you get it by now. As you may know, we sometimes use language on this show that can be described as... Filthy. Okay. Reprehensible? Uh-huh. Uh, crude? Sure. Nasty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, guys. We all know that it's just plain out gutter talk. You've been warned. Listen in. Hey there, kids. It's Pine Comics. <laughs> hey, Buter. <laughs> hey, Buter. All right. So it's the Manster. Manster, what's going on, man? Not that much. Just uh, hanging out. What's Getting new? ready to talk about some podcasts. Stuff. Yeah, this episode we're going to talk podcasts. we got Sir John on the other side scratching his mustache or nose. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we got my our por- my porn stashes. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see you with just a mustache. You don't have no, the you don't. No? no, you don't. No, you I don't. like to see Lloyd with a with a beard and or a goatee. You could you I actually I I've seen you with a, before. I've seen you yeah. with the like the you little five o'clock shadow. Look, look up. No, I've gone further than that. Look up old pictures on Facebook where yeah. uh, where I did the um, the Magnum Tiki party where where I grew out my Magnum mustache. Wow. Yeah, I'd like to see that. The last time I they're, had they're, only a mustache was in the nineties. They are yeah. available. Yeah. It's a tough look to pull off. It honestly is. Unless it you is. live in Portland, Connecticut. <laughs> <laughs> you have to have one then. 95% of the people that live in Portland, Connecticut have a fucking mustache. I've, I've done almost every facial hair look. I've done goatee, full beard. I've done the Abe Lincoln, you know, the, the beard with no, uh, with no mustache. That doesn't work so well. I've done the just uh, beard part of a goatee, no mustache. I have done the mustache with nothing else, and I just... Even when I have it, I feel like I'm fucking like yeah. I just feel like I'm out there. Like someone's looking at this guy going, He's got a mustache. It just doesn't work. I keep mine pretty short now with a trimmer. Uh, yeah. I don't I don't go much further than, you know, number three on the clippers. Do you think there's um, any chance we can get you to grow a goatee this summer? A goatee? Yeah, I'd like to see you with a goatee. See, I've had that before and I don't does, know. I does just, the wife not like it? I look more evil with a goatee. Uh, then I definitely have to see it. <laughs> so you're saying you're like the mirror universe spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Well, no, I don't have the, the beard that grows halfway up my cheek. Yeah, oh, the beard up to your eyeball. Yeah. Well, our special guest tonight uh, has always been clean shaven as long as I've known him. It's special. Uh, you're special. <laughs> my, also my favorite nickname of any of our guests, I think it's the Dizzle. Yeah. It's Chad Davis. When did the Dizzle start? Is that Was that something you created or... No, it was a name given to me when I was DJing, and I didn't have a DJ name. And there it's was perfect. Like, How about Dizzle? And I'm like, all right, Chad Dizzle. I honestly, it, actually, it was C Dizzle. Okay, and then it just got shortened to Dizzle. But then a lot of my friends just call me the Diz now. Okay, because because it's funny with, with nicknames, it's like <laughs> it's the Diz. <clears throat> I think of Lloyd as Lloyd Nobody on the show. The he's Diz. the Manster. <laughs> John is Sir John. And yeah, but well, like, I've been this for a long time. You have been that for a long time. <laughs> but you, uh, Chad, honestly, when I talk to you, uh, talk about you to other people, and I, talk, and I'm like, oh, who's gonna be on the show? Chad Dizzle Davis. Yeah, I don't say Chad Davis. It's right. like it's like Dizzle is almost like it's your part middle of name. Their name. Yeah, yeah, it's like part of your name. It's like some of the places I've worked where they don't just say my first name or last name. It's my entire name. John Johnson. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I don't yeah. get that. I get it a lot. So it's yeah. like it's. I, I guess it's because it's my Facebook name. 
It's Chad Dizzle Davis. It, how did you, man? Doesn't Facebook have uh, rules against doing don't that? Don't worry about how I do uh, things okay. around there. Right? <laughs> don't, don't ask. I, don't ask. Don't, don't tell on Facebook. Yeah. So uh, tonight's episode is kind of a uh, kind of a little more looser than normal. But uh, <laughs> Chad has been a uh, well, loosey goosey. It's loosey goosey, man. We're having some <laughs> shitty beers, man. I love, yeah. let's yeah, you guys beer. are having this shitty beers. This is shitty, but let's, that last one was so shitty. Let's go on on the record and say I really enjoy Narragansett's beers. I do enjoy their their regular. Uh, the gold can. Yeah. There's shandies. I really like the lemonade. It's the, it's the, it's the lager. The lager. Yeah. I, I love the, I <laughs> the love lager. The, well, yeah, one. whatever it's, it's called. The, the, Narragansett the, the, lager. Narragansett lager. <laughs> the, uh, the gold, uh, or the, I'm sorry, the, um, the lemon shandy is, is very good. All right. A few That's years Del's, ago. Dell shandy. Dell shandy. Yeah. Dell's the Rhode Island, yeah. uh, lemon, right. frozen lemon ice. Yep. Uh, I loved the black cherry one they did a few years ago. I they, did too. They that discontinued was really that. Good. They did that year. We were doing that when we did from the hip. Yeah, we, we actually were, we actually tasted it on on mic. Yeah, all that three, was the three of us well. at once. Yeah, it was it was the shandy, okay. and then and then this year that was really good. I saw they came out with watermelon. I picked it up today, and I could, I couldn't even get through a fucking can. No, <laughs> I dumped half of mine. Yeah, I dumped half of mine. Ooh, yeah, yeah, I know yeah. alcohol. Yeah, abuse, and I don't dump beer, but I had I had to. You, there's mm-hmm. no enjoyment factor no. at all. Uh, right like now, the one you're drinking, you mean? No, this one I enjoy. No, no, no this one f- is more enjoyable. That's uh, bullshit. Finch <laughs> beer is more <laughs> enjoyable than the last one. <laughs> Believe me. I, I've had some shitty beers before. That one just like slapped me in the back of the head as I was taking a sip from it. Finch Beer Company <laughs> Planet Caravan. Uh, it's yeah, a no, Ber- thank you. Berliner style Weiss, uh, aged on sweet cherries and American yeah, oak. Not in, not with, but on. On. It's on the part cherry. of their. It's part of their Cosmic Kettle series. And Chad is over here drinking. A, 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 I'm assuming a sour, a ghost maybe. It's it's fucking it's sour. It's pink, man. What is that? It's a sour. Right, but what what beer are you I, drinking? I don't know. <laughs> he doesn't know. I just no grabbed idea. it from my. Okay. I just grabbed it from my refrigerator. You did bring that, one. That today. looks like one that I was drinking down at Celtic Cavern one night, where it's really really tasty. I can't remember the name. You of know it. what this looks like? Do and, you remember? And it was thirty the mile, girl, the girliest 30 mile. looking beer that was on the menu. And I'm drinking it next to all these women, and I'm <laughs> and I I got to the bottom of the first glass and I sucked it down like a soda. And I put the glass down and I said, I can't have another one of those because I will not leave here on my feet. <laughs> yeah. Because it was so good and so easy to drink. Yeah. When you're drinking a beer like a soda, and it, I don't think that's more than 6%, it's probably 4 or yeah, 5. Probably 4. Yeah. 4.5. 4.5. It, you have 10 of them. <laughs> you're, I, I like how he goes to the extreme. Yeah, just you go know, right to ten. Typical, typical no, night. You have not ten of two them. or three, or you even know, five. You're, you're at the bar, straight to ten. You have ten. You have fourteen. You, you haven't done that. Uh, if if I have, it's been a long time. It's this, been a long this time. one here is only four point eight. Nah. Yeah, uh, that, yeah. I was gonna say that reminds me of too much. Uh, yeah. Thirty Mile Brewing. Uh, what was the one they do? It's a, it's a ghost that's pretty good. Um, they do uh, a lot of sours that are good. They did a yeah. pomegranate. They'd done uh, blueberry. They did raspberry. Oh, the raspberry one was great. Yeah, the raspberry, the raspberry one was, one was really good. good. Yeah. I think they, I can't remember what they did. They just did one recently now. I can't remember what it was. Passion fruit or something like that. Oh, yeah. That's, that's a cool that's place. That's the new one. That's yeah. a cool place. One uh, of my favorite breweries. Yeah. Uh, yeah everyone unknown breweries. Fruit. Have you been there? Yeah, you've been there. Uh, we did uh, May the 4th be with you last year. Chad did uh, Star Wars trivia, yeah. right? Yes. And uh, we went Okay, down. yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. We did, yeah, we did Star Wars trivia. That was a year ago? Yeah, that was. Holy cow. Yeah, that was a year ago. Yep crazy so this episode is about podcasts we're going to talk about podcasts chad you're a podcaster actually your facebook uh, description says i'm a podcaster yo yeah right uh, <laughs> so what what where did your start in podcasting come from well were you a fan of podcasts did you listen to a lot of podcasts and then you said i gotta do this uh, give us the idea of uh, your backstory with it so was it six years ago probably six years ago i was listening to podcasts Really wasn't like dedicated to him, but I was listening to him. I was listening to like Mark Marin, uh, Bill Burr, uh, Comedy Bang Bang. Um, a lot of the ones that are that had come out early, I would started listening to them like a little bit later after they came out, but I was still one of the earlier ones listening to them. And then, uh, my buddy Shane, who does uh, sports and sorts now, a podcast in Connecticut, we were talking, he was looking for a co host for a YouTube like channel. Like he was gonna do a YouTube channel kind of thing, where it was like uh, he wanted to kind of like a sports show where you had the desk with two people and you're kind of going back and forth about like Sports Center. Uh, yeah, but right. he wanted to do movies, and I was like, I was like, I'm not like at that point. I was like not super into movies. I wasn't going to the movies like I do now, uh, but I was like, I like to talk. I can. I've never done anything on air. I've never done anything in front of an audience. I've never done speech. I like. I've never done anything like that. 
But I was like, ah, I might be able to do that. So we were, did a trial run where we did a couple episodes together, and we really clicked, and we ended up doing like maybe a year and a half, two years uh, every week, a pod, uh, you know, a, a YouTube show. But it was a podcast, really. I mean, what was this called? Uh, what was it called? It was called uh, the show that got C- Chad Center Bros. Center Bros. Center Bros. Yeah, and uh, obviously it had a real effect on you. No, because. it did. It, it did because it, it got me out there and it got me uh, talking. And why, why center bros? It was just a cine, cinephile. Oh, you know? cine bros. Oh. Cine bros. Not yeah. cine bros. Oh, no, like no. Cine buns. No, I can't. I can't I'm, no, hearing, no. I'm hearing center bros, and I'm like, yeah, I thought you, it was you mean like bros. the strip club no, centerfold. As a matter of fact, there's if you go on YouTube Dark. There's a channel, uh, like it's uh, Cine- Cinnabon. There's a YouTube it's no, dark. It's no. just Chad eating Cinnabon oh. <laughs> slowly and without a fork. It's fucking awesome. So I was like, the, I was like the co-host. So I was like, it's like crack. <laughs> like halfway through, like maybe like 20, 30 episodes in, I'm like, I'm re- I'm really enjoying this. I really just and he used to get mad at me because he's very organized. Right. And like he'd show up with like a bunch of notes and this, and like he would send me like a list of things I would have to watch and stuff the like the night before. Right. And I would never do any of it. Uh-huh. And I would just show up and wing everything. And he's like, ah, did you watch this? I was like, no, I didn't watch that. But I can talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> and he, so he would get so mad. But then, like, he got used to it. And he's like, eh, he's not going to do it. So, um, you know, we, were bring, we would bring guests on. We ended up, like, maybe 20 episodes, 30 episodes in. I started getting crazy. I started making bets, like, with people that were watching and stuff. And I had, at one point, I had to do the truffle shuffle uh, <laughs> one point we did. Are these, got a, are these got still a lot, available, by the way? Can this one got a lot of views, and I'll show you guys after if you guys want to watch it. But did you have you guys ever seen Pitch Perfect? Oh yeah, I love yes. Pitch Perfect. Yeah. So we we reenacted a scene from Pitch Perfect and put it up before the episode, and it got a lot of views. It's like it got crazy, like a couple thousand views or something like that, which is pretty crazy for me. Right. So that was fun. Uh, but yeah, we and then he just decided he was going to move and. He didn't want to move his whole studio. So I was <laughs> that like, sounds, sounds very familiar. Very familiar. So he, very yeah, so he, mo- he moved and he was like, well, I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm not going to set up his whole studio again. And I was like, all right. So I was like, well, I'm going to start my own podcast. <laughs> and I just I didn't want to do video or anything. I just wanted to do a podcast. So I started in did, my kitchen. Did he move to Florida? No, no. He just moved down the street. Oh, but he okay. just didn't want to <laughs> set up everything again. So I ended up doing a... A podcast in my house, in my kitchen, uh, with one microphone and uh, my friend Liz. And we decided we were going to do it on Facebook Live. And uh, we pots and pans in the background. It was it was ridiculous. We go back and watch it. It was like crazy. My roommate was walking by all the time and like interrupting us. And uh, But we would just sit there and talk about movies that we've seen throughout the week. And, and this was past the effing popcorn, that right? was pa- that, that was past the effing popcorn. And that and, lasted a long time, right? Yeah, we went pretty long with that one and then i was just like you know what? i'm done i don't want to talk about movies anymore um i want to talk about movies but i want to talk about other things too so i started another one hanging with hanging with chad and uh that was fun that was more of like me interviewing people and right just bullshitting back and forth i had some really good i got to interview i got to sit down with joe list who's at comics this weekend uh really funny dude he he actually toured with uh louis ck uh, so I guess a lot of stories of him. Did Louis C.K. You know, jerk off in front of him? Uh, <laughs> many a times. Okay. All right. yeah, yeah. He admits it. Yeah. Will- willingly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Willingly watched. Just yeah. hearing stories about him, like, opening for him at, uh, you know, Madison Square Garden. Right. Like, you know, he's going from, you know, 200 seat clubs to now he has 25, 30,000 people. Yeah, it's crazy. That's sitting big, in front of him. Like, it's, it's, it's absolutely insane. So um, I got to do that. And that was a lot of fun. And. You know, now I'm starting my Family Matters podcast. Yeah, that's the fa- <laughs> yeah. I like how you say that. So matter of fact, now I'm starting my Family Matters podcast. Yeah, well, people are like, "What's did- Family Matters?" You, it, oh, it's about your family. So the <laughs> Family Matters, if you don't know, it was a nineteen. It came out in 1989. Uh, it was uh, a lot of people know it because of Urkel. Uh, so we're gonna start on episode one. Uh, me and my buddy uh, Brian Quagan. He's a local comedian and proverb. And pretty much we're just starting from episode one, and we're going to talk about every episode. Every single episode. Every single episode, and then we're going to do the cross, crossover episodes, too. What, and what did this crossover with? Like uh, They crossed over with Step by Step, and they crossed over with Full House. Wow. Are you going to do one a week? One a week. Uh, well, we're recording right now. We're putting some backlogs in, so we got like eight recorded right now. We're going to release... 
the first two weeks, we're going to release two episodes at a time. And then after that, we're going to do one episode at a time. And then for the season finale, every season, we're going to do a live show where the audience is going to watch the episode with us. Where are you going to do that from? Um, we, we haven't picked an, a place yet, but we're hoping to do it at the CT Theater in Hartford. Oh, okay. It's a small little 40-seater, 50-seater. That's, a, that's a great. I'll, I'll say this, Chad. You've been doing these shows for a long time, longer than since before I knew you. I, yeah. met, I met you kind of through your, I think maybe through your group, CT Pod Squad, yeah. on Facebook, where that's, that's kind of a community for all Connecticut podcasters. But we've been to uh, a couple of your shows, and mm-hmm. I've been to a couple, I think, with my wife. And uh, you still doing those? Because you you were putting on some pretty awesome live shows with uh, some local comedians. Yeah, I, I, I'm taking the summer off. Summer's golf for me. I just I golf way too much, uh, and my weekends are just golf. So right, um, <laughs> take the summer off, and then after the golf season, I'm going to come back and, and do more shows. Now, are, are your shows? You were doing your shows at comics up at the Bowling and Sun for a while. I started at the bowling alley in Groton. Oh, okay. So bowling um, alley, bowling. <laughs> bowling alley bar <laughs> where. We were just setting up a show, and there was no, like, attendant. Like, you can just walk in there. There was no way of getting people to pay or right, right. anything like that because it was just an open bar. So uh, we started there. We did, like... Bowling for dollars. We did, like, five or six episodes there. And then one of the guys that books the shows at Comics, uh, which is one of the bigger uh, comedy venues in the Northeast, yeah, uh, he approached me, let's try doing your show at Comics. And I was like, well, it's like 250 seats. I was like, there's no way I'm going to get that. <laughs> and uh, he's like, well, we can do like a 4 p.m. like in the afternoon show. I was like, all right, let's do it. And then we started doing it there almost a year probably, doing it like once a month. And we would get like, you know, in between 75 and 100 people. And most of the time, 50% of the people didn't know what the hell they were there for. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, mean, I, think, I think I went with my wife one time. But they time. were having fun. But it was impressive because all that time I've only had two people walk out. I, I think I might have been there when one of them walked the, out. The older couple? Uh, no, they didn't walk out. But there was a couple. We, me and my wife went to one of your shows, just me and her. And uh, it, it was great. Don, I think Donnie Salvo from uh, yep. from Nothing's On Podcast, who's was, was a really good comedian, was on. And he was killing it. I think Dave Sheehan might have been on that show too. Maybe. Uh, really funny guys. And... I think it's one of those things where people might be in the casino, have their, you know, what do you call it, like their perks, you know what yeah. I mean? And they're like, well, there's a comedy show at 4 o'clock, and they have no fucking clue <laughs> no that clue. they're walking into, like, a live podcast yeah. that's a movie trivia show. Yeah, no so, clue. So, you know, the, the place is set up, like, rows, like, long rows, and we're sitting, like, maybe in the second row. Yeah. And in front of us, there's two couples that were obviously together who yeah. obviously just came and said, oh, comedy show, and paid and went in. And the couple on the left... Uh, they were all together, but the couple on the left were having a great time, and the couple on the right just kept looking at each other like, "What the fuck? <laughs> what are we doing here? <laughs> what are we doing here?" They did. They did not leave because I was there the whole time. They stayed the whole time, but they. I saw it in their eyes, like, "What the fuck is going on here?" You know. But it was. It was still a great show, and uh, it was fun. But I could see where like people might not. You know, the people that just walk in and go, "Oh, there's a comedy show. Let's go into it." Hey, yeah. There's a very attentive wait staff, so yeah, that, that, that helps out. Yeah. yeah, it's it's a it's a different kind of show where it's not like straight up comedy it's more improv i mean nothing's i don't tell these people like i don't tell these comedians like what's going on uh they just show up and we sit there and talk right there's nothing planned out i got the games planned out but other than that it's just us talking about movies um it always veers off it's fun because like they bring in prize uh prizes for the prize bag (laughs) and that can i mean i had um a female comedian put her number in the prize bag (laughs) And it turned out bad oh, because the guy ended up stalking her. Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> I was like, yeah, let's not do that anymore. Yeah. But yeah. I've had, you know, somebody bring in like um, uh, a plunger, toilet paper. I was there for the yeah, plunger. plunger. Yeah, yeah. a guy brought a plunger from his bathroom yeah. as, one of the, as one of the prizes. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, he bought it. Did he buy but, it? Yeah, he bought it brand okay. new. Yeah, yeah. Right. Well, there's someone was definitely bringing stuff from their house one time. Oh, I bring stuff from my house okay. all the time. Like, right. I just pile up i go into my closet and whatever's in my closet i bring <laughs> what do i want to get rid of <laughs> probably the most fun show i did was a christmas show did you did you come to the christmas show i did not i did the 12 guests of christmas mm. so i had 12 comedians on stage at one time wow. with me, which the comedy club said that was the first time that's ever been done there um i don't know how many times you know 12 a little crowded comedians there for 12 people i i'd say it was yeah. very crowded yeah. <laughs> so i was like in the back of my head i was like i can't give them 12 microphones because they'll just talk over each other the whole time <laughs> right so i ended up giving them four mics and they had to share them 
and I just went down the line individually, talked to each one of them individually, and then at the fight. end we played an elimination game, um, and it was a lot of fun. It was everybody there had a great time. Um, it was mm. tough to get twelve, you know, comedians to show up at one time, but it was a lot of fun. That's cool. And you now are are you still doing them at Thirty Mile in uh, Old Saber? Yeah, we switched that? to uh, we had a <laughs> little, little something going on with uh, oh. comics, and uh, I really wasn't I, I wasn't. I didn't feel like I was making the money that I should have. Right. And, you know, nothing against them. They're a business. They got to do what they got to do. But um, I was making more money doing doing them in, low, like, smaller venues. Right. Um, so I ended up, uh, had friends that opened up a brewery in uh, Old Saybrook. I approached them. I was like, hey, listen, I get this show. I do it once a month. How do you guys feel about doing this? You guys don't have to do anything. I'll do everything. I'll set it up. I'll you know, whatever. And they're like, yeah, let's try it out. So I've been doing it there. It's 30 mile brewing in Old Saber, Connecticut. Chad shows. Uh, lawyer. Yeah, I've got to go. To, I've been to that Star Wars one. I've yeah. Go to yeah. Well, well, when you start after the summer, when you're relaxed, yeah. you're feeling better. Uh, <laughs> when you start doing it, we'll go. But I, I wanted to bring this up because this is a really funny story. So Chad shows are always busy, right? There's always yeah. people there. And he did um, the Star Wars trivia night was busy, was yeah, packed, right? It we, was. I want to mention again that we got him all the questions right till the very end. We almost won. <laughs> A couple months after that, or maybe a month later in July, mm-hmm. Harry he Potter. did Harry Potter, yeah. and me and Silent Tony were going to go, and there was an accident on Route 9, and we never got there. We never got out of Middletown. We were in traffic for like an hour, oh, so we couldn't go. <laughs> so we, we missed that show, and you said there was that was an even bigger sellout, right? We had, what we had at Star Wars, it was probably 50% more. 50% more than Star mm-hmm. Wars, and Star Wars was filled. Yeah. So at the end of the summer, Chad is going to have a Save by the Bell trivia. <laughs> And he comes to us and says, "Could could you could you guys help us? Could you help us with this? Right? I'm not tanking you, but it's just no, a no, funny no. story. It's, 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 yeah. So 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 Star Wars, boom! Everybody's there. Fucking Harry, Harry Potter, Potter, more boom. people are there. So Chad comes up and says, "Look, we're doing. We're going to do Harry Potter. Uh, I'm sorry, Saved by the Bell trivia. What is the only way to follow up? And I am Saved by the Bell. And I Chad wanted to participate. Is a Saved by the Bell fan. And he yeah. says, I want to participate. So can you come up with you know X amount of questions? And I'm like, fuck it. You know, I, I did watch Saved by the Bell uh, more casually, but I did watch it. So for like two weeks, I'm like online verifying facts. I, I come up with like, I don't know, 30 questions. You're a lot better than me because I don't verify any of mine. <laughs> oh, I, 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 well, because I didn't. I'm thinking 100 people there. Someone's going to call me out. Call me an asshole. No, no. Zach's middle name wasn't William. You know, so I Harry Potter. Up. They did it to me because uh, Harry Potter was supposed to be all about the movies. And I've only seen the movies, but I don't remember stuff from the movies. I never read the books, and I guess I had a, qu- a couple questions that were in the book only. Oh, and they were uh, all pissed off. They're yeah. like getting mad and everything. I was like, "Hey, settle down, you guys. All right, this is a free show for you guys." Well, it, <laughs> it, 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 do a Game of Thrones one. <laughs> it kind it kind of does yeah. speak to the fact that you're not like a complete nerd like us too. Because I remember in the Star Trek, the Star Wars one, you were pronouncing things wrong. Yeah. Admiral H. Bear. <laughs> yeah. H bear. What? <laughs> from from the from the alien race, the Mod Calamertes. Yeah, yeah. What is the famous line quoted by Admiral H Bear? Uh, that's not really what he said. It's so, an elaborate ruse. It's an, yeah, it's an elaborate ruse. Yeah. Uh, so we 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 uh, we end up right up the things, and it was the weekend of Terrificon. I remember this because yeah. John and I did three days of Terrificon, and that was a Monday. So we're. Gonna do another God, day. That was the day after Trivicon. Day after Trivicon. Oh my God. We do, no the, we do, we do three beat. days of Trivicon. We do the radio show on a Sunday night, and then Monday we go and we get to 30 Mile, and it's this is gonna be fucking huge. Saved by the Bell trivia. And I think nine people showed up. Yeah. And by nine, no, I don't even think it was I think nine. It was, I think it was seven. Yeah. It was. <laughs> and by four, seven, you mean five? No, I. I think it was four girls together. Yeah. A yeah. girl and a guy. Yeah. And then me. And then you. <laughs> And, yeah, uh, you, I sat with you for I was seven, like, I'm including out. the host. <laughs> I went and talked to the, the bartender the whole night. Yeah, John's talking to the bartender. <laughs> you guys got treated oh, very well that night. night. Oh, no, no. Oh, 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 you yeah. were there? Oh, oh, I was oh there. John was there. Yeah, I, I was, missed it was, that night. It, it, I, think, I, think he, we, I think we stayed after the they closed, too. Yeah, like, yeah. We were all just sitting there drinking and drinking. Pretty and much, yeah. We had quite a few beers. Because you asked you asked like two or three questions, and I'm like, I'm out. I have no idea of any answers to these. And I watched the show casually, too, so I figured I'd know the answer to one of them. I, I was proud of myself. I, I think I still somewhere have the the question. One sheet. of those girls was pissed at you. 
Because she wasn't winning. Yeah. The, the, gr- the girl with the guy. The, oh, yeah. the drunk girl. The drunk girl. Yeah, yeah like, the drunk girl. Yes, yes, narrow it down. The drunk girl. Yeah. Slater's <laughs> name isn't Albert Clifford. Yes, yeah, it is. Yeah. I double-checked that. I found, out that <laughs> I found out that day that I'm better at uh, hosting trivia than I am <laughs> at actually doing trivia. Well, it was fun, but I just thought that was a funny story that Saved by the Bell trivia. The beers was, were good. Yeah, yeah, the beers were good, and, and that's a great place. So yeah. check it out if you uh, if, if you go to uh, Old Saber, Connecticut. It's 30 Mile Brewing. Uh, and I'm sure if you go to 30milebrewing.com, you can that, see that. Is that lovely bartender still there? <laughs> all of them are still there. All, oh, of, nice, all the bartenders John, are John had, John had the, uh, the, the horch for the uh, bartender there that night, the little blonde. <laughs> yeah. was, she, was, she was fun to talk oh, to. Oh, she doesn't work there anymore. No, see, that's yeah. what I'm asking. Yeah. yeah. See. So, she, she's got she's got trucks to build. So Yeah, that's right. You said something about building yeah. trucks. So, Lloyd, uh, <laughs> because we're talking about podcasts and stuff, how, I know you said that you were a podcast listener before you got involved with us, right? Yes, I was. So what were some of the podcasts you listened to? What, what Are you a, would you consider yourself casual? Or are you one of these guys? Like, I know guys that like listen to like fucking 15, 20 podcasts a week. I don't know how they fucking do that. On my current podcast catcher, I have uh, at least 15, uh, maybe 18 but do you, I, I probably, how, how many are not pop culture podcasts? Oh, several. Several are not pop culture. Let, let me go back a ways, though, because <laughs> yeah, in back. the early to mid-2000s uh, is when I started listening to them. So uh, probably the first one I can remember to was called Twit. It's called This Week in Tech. Oh, that, Jesus. That may still be out. Hmm. Is that um, like an NPR uh, no, podcast? No, I, I, it was a pretty famous podcaster, um, and I'm sure he does something now, but it was a lot of talk about... Bob Johnson. Tech, yeah, something famous like that. Famous podcaster. <laughs> Technical stuff, uh, you know, computer stuff, things like that. One was When was Battlestar Galactica out? 2003? Early 2000s, yeah. yeah. I used to... That was the first um, entertainment type of podcast that I listened to. There was a Battlestar Galactica podcast. Like the official sci-fi one or like a fan one? No, a fan one. Fan one okay. A fan one, and people would, you know, call in. They they talk about each episode, and then they talk about theories and things like that. And I yeah. totally got into that. I wanted to call in because I had my own theory about, you know, the final twelve. Right. I thought I, I called it my dark tower theory. I thought there was twelve more, and once those twelve were revealed, you know, like the beams would cross and where the, where they all intersected, that would be the final one. So I was, I mean, I thought I was brilliant. I thought I had this real You're thing wrong. that was, that you, was you, wrong. <laughs> you, you just sounded like an uber nerd. Yeah. Yeah. Right, but it, it was I, a good, although, although, it was a good I'll theory. I'll say, in all honesty, as much as I did enjoy that show, I think you had a better series finale than they did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, it, it would have been really good, yeah. Uh, and then there was, um, I, so there, I did that thing. Yeah, we all do it. <laughs> uh, in the mm. mid, again, to late 2000s, I was really into uh, triathlons. So I would I listen to a few triathlon podcasts, See? believe it or not, about training for triathlons and different a, triathlons and things like that. Yeah, there's a podcast for everything. Yeah, oh, a, that's anything you truth can think about of. podcasting. Yeah. Uh, so that's the earliest uh, podcasting, gardening. and then since then, even what? Even gardening. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, gardening. Um, that's a joke. But fantasy football. I really got into enjoy. fantasy football, and I and I didn't get good at fantasy football until I started listening to podcasts about it. Oh, what's, so what's, you, what's your take on Ryan Fitzgerald this year? <laughs> there's, there's, there's no, there's no take. We, we call we call him Fitz Magic in this. It's house. Magic. Yeah. yeah. No, he's good for one or two games. Everybody thinks he's great, and then just yeah. Disappears. That's why he's on the Dolphins now. Yeah. He's made a career out of that. Yeah. So so right now, let's see. I listen to fantasy football podcasts. I listen to podcasts for my favorite shows: um, Game of Thrones, uh, Better Call Saul, a few things like that. Right. Uh, I listen to a few different. Com- well, I used to listen to. Actually, more comic book podcasts. Now it's really just maybe. What this, was the one that you said morning, that you uh, were really into? At I was point? really into. It was called Pinto Comics. Oh no! Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn, <laughs> that show sucks. No, before that, it was uh, under the comic covers. Okay, right. I remember you saying that you used to you used to call in. And I used more? to I used to call in. I used to write emails, and you know, I was very friendly with the hosts uh, just through email on Facebook and things like that. And their whole podcasting network, which is pretty popular nowadays. But they stopped doing their show, right? They stopped that show. The the network's still around. They still do things with uh, Walking Dead and uh, you know other shows, right, right, but, right. but not mm. that. Uh, I listen to that NPR type stuff, serial, um, the stuff stuff you should know. Mm. Okay, yeah. Now, this, you, this American Life. Do you yeah. spend most of your time listening to podcasts at work? Because I know you have the kind of job where you have a desk job uh, where you're able to, right? See, here's the thing. I used to. Uh, do a lot of listening in my car to and from work. You know, I'd have a half hour drive to work. Right. That's a pretty good amount. 
And then I can listen to podcasts at work. I, I can put an earbud in one ear, you know. And still pay attention. And listen to right. it and, and put it on low volume and, and listen to stuff. Not so much anymore. I got a different job, a much shorter commute. So I'm listening to a lot less podcasts now. John. Yes. Are you a podcast listener? What kind of podcasts do you listen to? Uh, generally, I'm not. Um, when we were involved with uh, From the Hip, I listened a lot more then. I had a lot more time. Uh, I had the ability to plug in and listen while I was working. Now, not so much. I don't even listen to our show. Yeah. I listen to every single From the Hip that we did multiple times. Our show, I barely ever listen to after the fact. <laughs> is, is, that a, is that a good thing or a bad it's thing? It's kind of a bad thing because I like to listen to us and see what we can do to improve on, on what we're doing. But, I, I, you know, I hardly have time anymore. Oh, okay. It's a time thing. It's not like it's, you're like, Pine Comics is terrible. I'm not listening to it. It's uh, mostly time. I don't listen to our show, but yeah. I listen to our well, show you once. Do it when when you're editing. Editing. Well, you edit yeah. the show. Right. I, I very, my wife will listen to our show. When she's cooking and stuff, I'll hear it in the other room. And I got to be honest, I don't know if maybe you guys are like this too, is I love doing a podcast chat. I don't know if maybe if you're like this. I love doing a podcast. I love doing what we do. I hate to hear myself back. Oh, that doesn't bother me. <laughs> no, I like, I don't, it's not my voice. I think I have a decent voice. It's just when I hear myself sometimes, I'm like, oh man, like spit it out, dickhead. Or, you know, it's the little things <laughs> well, that I like think bother that you. while I'm saying it. So. I'm, like, I'm like that too. But truth be told, I still listen to our podcast every week. Well, I, yeah, I, I'd yeah. like to. I just don't have the time. I, I mean, the only podcast I was listening to on a regular basis was um, was uh, Karina uh, Longworth show, the uh, the Hollywood show, the Hollywood, yeah, right. But that's over with. She's uh, apparently doing a Patreon or Patreon, however you want to say that, to to get it going again since she lost her host. And other than that, I listen to Dan Harmon's um, Hardcore History when I have time. Usually when I'm sleeping. Dan Harmon, he's a, he does Harmon Town, right? Yes. No, different Dan Harmon. Oh, it's a different one? Different Dan uh, Harmon. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I, I thought maybe it was the same Dan no, Harmon. No, no, no. This is Hardcore History, which this guy does a four to five hour podcast on a specific thing in history. Yeah, that's the, that's the amazing thing about podcasts. Like, So being who we are with, mm. with pop culture-y podcasts, um, even when you were doing interview stuff, a lot of it was pop culture uh, involved, Chad. Yeah. That's just a tip of an iceberg with podcasts. Uh, yeah. podcasts. The, the, the big ones... True crime, yeah, yeah. where they do the biggest one. Right? I, the true crime is the largest. I have a biggest genre, of those, biggest yeah. genre where they'll do. Well, they'll do a, a, a ten episode series on a case. You know, I, I have a big problem with those. Uh, for the most part, podcasters are amateurs, and right. when you get a bunch of amateur idiots digging into someone's personal life yeah, like that, that thing, really, yeah. really bothers me. Especially when they start doing giveaways on their program. Yeah, <laughs> but like if. I've got people in my family that have been killed, and some of it hasn't been solved yet. Right. I would not want someone on a podcast doing that about my family. I'd have to go after them. That just It's just not cool. Yeah, that, I, I see what you're saying. You know, and, and then all of a sudden, oh, hey, we've got a pretzel giveaway tonight. <laughs> I'm like, Jeez. go fuck yourself. <laughs> fucking talk about my my family and then suddenly you're giving away a goddamn pretzel no one ever uh, solved the case of mary murphy who was yeah. found splattered to death with an axe yeah, in 1983 just, and now a word uh, from our sponsor right rolls right. gold it's holy like, shit it's rolls gold it, it just makes me think of the casey Kazen <laughs> bit you know <laughs> <laughs> you, br you bring us out of that uh, you bring me out of a song about a goddamn dead dog to some up-tempo track it's a goddamn dead dog yeah i mean overall i i don't listen to a whole lot of podcasts I, I i'll listen to some of the like yours uh, chad i would listen to yours uh, yeah i listen to the friends ones too yeah and and stuff that people have done that we've met i'll i'll try tuning into some of their yeah. shows some i cannot listen to that's just too too repetitive right like stuff that we do it's the, they're mm -hmm. doing the same damn thing or very similar stuff or they say stupid things about the uh, programs or things that i actually like and they're wrong so, <laughs> well, you know, all those fans of Battlestar Galactica listen to us and go, fuck you, John. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> well, I mean, this guy's oh, talking minute, about the new rebooted Battlestar Galactica. I'm yeah, like, that's... I want to chew my arm off as he's talking about <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, well, <laughs> I still love that show. And, yeah, well, you're wrong. Shout out to <laughs> Rock Candy. I also listen to Rock Candy. Yeah, Rock Candy's and, great. Yeah. And, and I do like to share, like, if these guys are doing stuff that we don't do necessarily, I will share that out to people that are going to listen to it, hopefully. See, I find it you funny know? because I like to listen to shows that are in a similar vein to ours because I don't listen to our show and i know what my opinions are i know what yours from doing the show so like i listen to shows like you know ghost of the stratosphere well, or so wizard that, or not another nerdy because yeah they're they're all in the same week sometimes talking about the same things 
But I feel like through podcasting, I mean, have you ever felt this way with podcasters you've never met that you kind of know them yeah, yeah. from listening to their shows? Yeah. And you get invested in their... Uh, oh, sure. You know, I, I, I talked about, like, earlier today, uh, the Stu from Ghost of the Stratosphere would listen to our latest episode that we talked about the Avengers movie, and he's texting me furiously, like, I can't believe you're a dick. Wow, how could you think that? And I think that's cool. I think someone is out there <laughs> listening to our opinion. Well, their, their show is really good. Too. Yeah. Those guys, um, the, the other thing about some of these shows is like, if they have good camaraderie or, or chemistry, it right. works. The Horror News Podcast, with, um, the Mobile Horror Companion. Mobile Horror Companion. Those guys are fa- fantastic. I, lo- I And love I don't listen show. to them enough. <laughs> I love that show, too. And what I love about it is... Is that they they remind me of us for a couple of reasons. <laughs> the, the the dynamic. You got uh, Eugene is kind of like me, the guy who's kind of like, you know, got the flow. Joe is kind of like Lloyd, the, you know, the, the guy who, who knows the stuff and is there. And Brian is the dick like you. <laughs> oh, you know? Geez. Brian like is pissed hey, about oh, everything. Hey, I don't That's your have a thing. Problem, huh? But the other thing it's is not my thing. It's just I'm I'm pretty heavy handed. <laughs> yeah, you and, are. you know, it's, it's true. And, and the other thing I love about their show is that much like us, Pint O Comics, they're the mobile horror companion. They do episodes that have nothing to do with horror. Yeah. You know, they just talk about, like, there was one they did uh, recently, the GOAT episode, GOAT, and they talked about the greatest, greatest. of all time mob movie and the greatest of all yeah. time uh, war movie, and, and, they, and not, they never even talked about, at the end, uh, I think Eugene said, should we do the greatest of all time horror movie? And they're like, nah, nah. fuck it, you know? <laughs> that's um, a good way to end that show. Yeah, that I, I, think, anyway. I think that's how it ended, yeah. was they, I don't think they even <laughs> talked about it, but... Chad, do you uh, do you listen to your own shows? Do you watch your own videos? Or no. are you are you a that guy? Or <laughs> do you have do you not like to hear yourself back? Or do you? I I do a stupid little thing where if I'm in the car and somebody's in the car with me, I'll put my podcast on. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, oh, you gotta listen to this. <laughs> but other than that, no, I got way too many podcasts that I listen to that. Um, I probably have a list of, you know, I got a list in front of me. It's probably 15. Well, give, give us some of the ones that you you listen to. All right, so I want to know the ones you listen to. Like for me personally, the ones that I listen to every week. So the locally, locally, I listen to not the Nomcast. I, I love Andrew yeah. Morgan. I, I love the Nomcast. I've been on the Nomcast and I don't listen to it often enough because I don't, I haven't seen the movies. He's yeah. Well, that's, that's part of my problem back, with his show. I yeah. them. But the episodes that he does, I listen to. If I've seen the movie, the episodes he does that I've seen the movie, I, I listen to. Yeah. And I want to go back and watch. Like he did the one about the dirt, the Motley Crue movie. I yeah. saw that. So well, I, I listened to it. You Didn't you go on and do the, the Kurt Russell movie? I did the, the Christmas Chronicles. Yeah. That, I oh, listened to that right. one. I, I listened to that movie, one too. Yeah. And I didn't see that. I thought that was really funny that none of you guys really liked it all that much but you watched it how many times i've seen i i watched it like four times yeah. <laughs> yeah. i loved it i i, I loved didn't it. see it but uh, but, but you did you, you loved it but you didn't give it a like a, a massive you know this is the greatest movie ever it was no, just, it was just a good movie it was yeah yeah i mean you enjoyed it but it ne- not necessarily the greatest movie and, no. and, and andrew's a really good podcaster yeah. and he's, he's uh, super smart he's I mean, super yeah. smart he's a funny comedian and yeah. he's 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 Andrew's a really good host. He's yeah. very good at hosting yeah. a podcast. I got you guys right here, Pine of Comics. Oh, thank you. I don't listen to every episode. That's fine. Uh, but I, I, do. I don't either. What the fuck? <laughs> I know, right? So, <laughs> hey, I'll, I'll say this about podcasting real quick, which is funny, is our numbers generally for downloads are, are you know, close weekly. You know what I mean? I see I see dips going up, you know, or, or mountains going up when we do, like, the Boom 2 pre comic book day will yeah. get the next episode will go up. I see people listening. But I have noticed, like, so Pint Movie Invitational episodes or the Universal Horror episodes will go up a little bit because maybe a movie's a little bit, you know, more common. Um, but, like, when we did an episode recently, we did an episode where we talked nothing but about Star Trek Discovery. Yeah. One of our lower episodes. Mm-hmm. Because well, people, and it's true, someone might be listening. If they're you know, not watching that They're show. not watching it. Yeah. And, and again, I'm not, yeah. I'm not offended by that. But I'm like, it, it definitely showed me. That okay, so yeah, specific specific feature, feature yeah. might not hit everybody, right? It's you funny, know, it's funny like that, like hmm. like uh, when we had um, Beach Bum Barry on the radio program, and we re- released it as a podcast. It didn't do well. One of one of my favorite radio episodes we did, and yeah, I don't understand why people m- aren't more. Into- it's a it's adult beverages, people. And, and, and <laughs> that again, was a good one. I like. And that. again, yeah. we had yeah. uh, we had the gentleman from. Uh, the Elm Street uh, uh, Fest for a podcast. Oh, oh, Chris, Chris, yeah. and that did well. But it didn't do it. Like, if you look at the one before and after it, where we're talking so about, like, weird. you know, Superman, yeah, it's right. like, you know, and I get it. You go out <laughs> to your wheelhouse. We're comics for Christ's yeah, sake. Yeah, there's <laughs> beer and then there's, there's alcohol in the name. All right, I'm sorry, Chad. I just, I wanted to throw it out there because I thought that was funny, especially the Discovery episode capped. Like, people, yeah. I think people might have saw the description and went, I'll wait till next fucking week. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, it's all about what the topic is sometimes. I mean, well, I get that. 
I mean, I don't watch Battlestar Galactica or, or any of those. You're, you're not shows, missing so. anything. For, for me, in all Trust honesty, me. though, like Ghost of the Stratosphere, the shows I listen to <laughs> weekly, if I look at their, if I look at the thing and it's like they're covering some comic I could care less about, I still listen to it. Yeah. Because the only way I avoid them is like specifically the movie ones, like Andrew. Because I, I want to like with a movie, I want to like experience. You know, I want to yeah, know what to get spoiled. About. You. I don't want to get spoiled necessarily. Yeah. I, I think I have listened to one or two that I was like, I don't care about this movie, so I'll listen to it. Right. Um, Conan O'Brien started a podcast. And it's fucking hilarious. Do you I, like the Do you like the format of his new show? Um, I think it's something that he needed to do, and I I, I think it works out for him. Really? I, I what's I, the I, format? I haven't he, seen he, it. It's, it's only so, a half an hour. It's a half now. hour now, and instead of it being like a typical late night late night show, monologue, blah blah, guests, yeah. several guests, it's him and one person sitting down for half an hour talking. Good. No. Okay. I'd, I'd rather watch that. Yeah. I've been I, wanting people to do that for years. Sounds like yeah. the Nerdist. But see, what I like about Conan's old show is out of all the guys that do that, he's the one that does that the best, in my view. Yeah. Man. He did the monologue. He did everything. I like Conan. I don't want to watch. I love Jimmy. Conan. I don't want to watch Jimmy fucking Fallon. Nah. You know, I see. I like Jimmy Fallon. Smooching so. someone's pickle because they have yeah. you know they're they're the newest hot yeah. thing. Eh. I like Conan O'Brien, and yeah. I, and I again I still I've watched his show, and I do think it's not terrible. But I, I was just kind of like ah damn. Well, his podcast is wonderful. It's 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 so cool. He most of the, like maybe fifteen minutes of it's with him and his uh, assistant uh, Moni uh, uh, or whatever yeah, her name is. Yeah. Uh, so they sit there and they go back and forth a little bit. He does funny ad reads, um, and then he has a guest on, like uh, Ben Stiller or you know whoever that week is, and um, it's good. It's funny. It's just them talking. It's without filter or anything. So right. it's a, it's a fun it's a fun little podcast. Joe Rogan. I listen to probably fifty percent of his episodes. Uh, if he has like a UFC fighter on or something, I skip those ones um, because it's just a, it's the same thing over and over and Couple over of again. Meatheads banging her head, yeah, right. <laughs> but he, I, yelling. I like Joe Rogan because he he does he he does think outside the box, and I know a lot of people don't agree with him, but at the same time, it's like he has a different viewpoint on some things. And um, I've learned a lot from his podcast just because he's had like you know scientists or. Uh, some really cool like people that I would never thought I would listen to. Right uh, it, on it, like uh, the thing with his podcast is though they're three hours long, so that's too that's long. A, that's a it's, chunk. Of time. It's a long time, Holy but shit. I'm it's at, a radio show. It's like Howard Stern. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, yeah. I'm at I'm at work for twelve hours, and all I do is listen to podcasts. So I, you yeah. know, I can listen to four episodes um in one 12 hour session so see so, yeah, i'm i'm jealous of like that or like lloyd said like i think johnson the same boat as me is uh i'm listening to the latest mobile horror companion which is a half hour episode with larry dwyer our friend larry dwyer it's an interview half hour episode i've been listening to it for three fucking days yeah oh, because i listen to it 10 minutes at a time yeah five minutes at a time back and forth you know what i mean and when i'm here i'm not listening to podcasts very yeah. much so it's like it takes me. I, there's a lot of shows I do want to listen to weekly, and I've just got such a backlog because it takes me days it's to listen to one. Great fucking for episode. when you have a task, like you're mowing the lawn, you're doing yard yeah, work, yeah, yeah. mowing that, the lawn. That's when it's the best. I knock out usually an episode or two mowing the lawn. If I do yeah. both lawns, front and rear, I'll listen to one out there, one out there, and I'm like, fuck, I listened, I did it last week, I mowed the lawn, I got two episodes done, I was like, yeah. I felt like a fucking king of the world. <laughs> so when, when I first discovered, uh, y- you must remember this, the, the Karina Longworth uh, Hollywood history show, it was already about 60 episodes in, maybe 70. I chewed through every episode while I was on the road, uh, and, and I couldn't get enough of it. Yeah. You know? And by the time I caught up to where she was, she was on a break, <laughs> so I had to wait another three months before she started the new season, which was 10 episodes maybe. And I, you know, those would come out, and I couldn't wait for the next one because no. then I didn't have the old ones to listen to, which right. would uh, eat up all my, my drive time, but... Oh well, Talco. Shaquille O'Neal does a podcast. Oh God! <laughs> and I've listened to every single episode since he started. <laughs> he's got to be a riot. <laughs> he is so fucking funny. Yeah. He, he is just, he's great. He has a great co-host with him. Let, he's let a, me ask you a question, Dizzle. He is a host. <laughs> Did he ever trip? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's the video of him tripping. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, oh, that's yeah, awesome. yeah. So I listen to him. Uh, one of the funniest ones I think um, is how how did this get made? It's with Paul, Paul Shear and uh, yeah. Jason Manzukis. That's a really good idea too. Oh my god, dude! They do the live shows. It's so fucking funny because they they pick you ever, these. You ever hear that one? No, what's that about? They do these horrible movies. They pick horror. How did this get made? They okay, get, I got oh, it. Yeah. Yeah. And they they do an hour. Sometimes it's live, and sometimes it's just in studio. And so they'll do like a, a movie like uh, uh, the Fast and the Furious, and they'll have. Uh, Oh, somebody that was in that movie on stage with them, yeah, and they'll just shit on the movie the whole time. <laughs> sometimes, but sometimes they 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 hype it up a little bit. But uh, uh, do you know who Jason Manzukis is? No, he's from. Uh, have you ever seen the movie, uh, the the TV show, The League? 
Yeah. Oh he's, yeah. Which one is he? He's the one with the, the the. He's not one of the regular guys, but he's the the brother. Oh. That has yeah. like the beard and everything. Are you talking about? Is it Rafi? Rafi. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you ever see Brooklyn Nine Nine? Yeah, he a was little bit. Adrian Pimento. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. So, so no, that show's great. I love he's so fucking funny. And then Paul Shear is yep. is a, a comedy genius too. So uh, they do that. And then um, Comedy Bang Bang. It's like one of the first podcasts ever to come out. That was Reggie. Uh, isn't that Reggie? Reggie. Uh, no. Uh, Reggie Watts was on it. Uh, he, he started on it. Right. Uh, they, did, they did a TV show on uh, I the independent IFC. Station, IFC. Yeah. Uh, but no, Scott Ackerman is the host. And so what he does is he has guests on every single week, but they're um, character guests. So they're not actually the per like you would come on, you wouldn't come on as John. Oh, you so play that, someone. Yeah, you would come on as an a, a character, right? Yeah. And they're like off the wall characters. Like somebody could come on and he, he'd be like a a horse owner, and they'd have a whole episode about them owning horses, but it would like go in different directions. And uh, 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 was, uh, was, oh no, uh, no, no. <laughs> I'll hit that mute button real uh, quick. You're no fun do, at all. Do you listen to the recently... Uh, re- I haven't listened to it myself, but do you listen to the recently released Ron Burgundy podcast? No. No, okay. No, it would be too much for me. And then just, re- <laughs> just real quick, I take, I do Barstool Sports, uh, so I do part of my take. Uh, it's these two guys that uh, they talk about sports, and uh, they're just super funny. And um, I love Barstool Sports. Right. I don't know. I, you so guys, you do mostly you do mostly all like kind of like bigger podcasts. Do you do any like are there any local Connecticut ones us. here besides us and besides <laughs> the fact that you just said that to be nice and he's oh, here? Oh yeah, 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 I do. Uh, so these these two kids, I just happened to run into them on Twitter one day, and they do a Boy Meets World podcast. Like I Boy do, Meets World. Yeah, I actually am friends with them on Twitter. Yeah, I uh, yeah, I listen to every single episode. And I tweet back. I, I actually direct messages them a couple times. And uh, yeah, they're from like Kentucky, and they're, they're just like these two regular kids, like me and Brian. Like I was going to mention that to you that your your show idea, and this isn't uh, this isn't a slight in the world of podcasting, reminded me of theirs. Yeah, because they they're doing every episode of that show, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. every show. We did Family Matters because it was, Family Matters wasn't going to be my first choice. We did a lot of research. Well, I did a lot of research. It's probably you didn't do a Saved by the Bell one. You're a big Saved it, by the Bell There's so fan. many of them. Yeah. I've listened to a Melrose Place one. I was, really? in, I was yeah. in a Melrose Place. So <laughs> it was between – because you got to pick a show that is on either Hulu or Netflix because you want people to watch the episodes. Right, right, right. So you can't pick something that's not on one of those uh, service, services because people are just not going to go out and buy DVDs or – you know, just to watch your show. Right. So, you know, Family Matters is on uh, Hulu. So we picked a bunch of shows that are on For Hulu. now, Hulu just got bought. Wait, Hulu is now fully Disney, right? Did that happen this week? Yeah, there was something it, to do with it. Man. They took it over. It's not an outright purchase, but they own the majority stock. I, I know, like, I think I read something by 2021, all the NBC shows can start pulling off. It, Hulu's going to disappear. Yeah. It's going to all be Disney Plus pretty oh, sure. soon. Uh, Fuck. This is, this, this is ruining I our really lives. I really wanted to stay away their, from that Disney Plus. Yeah. And, well, and apparently now they're calling this OTT, over-the-top media. Is that what it's called? That's, that's what they're calling OTM. All the, no, no, no. OTT, over-the-top. Oh, over-the-top. Yeah. You threw an M in there. The I know. Well, it's, it's the over-the-top O-T-T-M. stuff that they're doing. Oh, yeah, media, media. OTTM yeah. is what you would be thinking. Yeah, OTTM. So don't ask me. I don't I don't coin these phrases. But every show has like a thousand. So we looked at Family Matters, and there's literally, I think, that one other podcast has ever done Family Matters. So we were like, it was between Family Matters. We were doing uh, Quantum Leap was in there. Oh, Jesus. Mm. Um, and then. Spoiler alert, he never gets home. <sighs> Quantum Leap got really weird in the last like three seasons. Like he was turned into like well, they- actual like. History, history, like people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, Abraham they, Lincoln, I think, one time. It was, it was losing, it was losing viewers. Um, it was losing advertisers, and it was losing a budget. Yeah. And, so. <laughs> and if you go through the episodes, they, uh, Hulu can't play some of the episodes because they didn't have the music rights. And didn't it move? So they would skip episodes. It probably like, moved nights six no, times. No, 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 not nights. But didn't it move network? No, network. NBC all the way. It, it was yeah. okay. And actually, here's a trivia of the last episode of uh, Quantum Leap. Is so the end of the last episode of Quantum Leap. Is a title card that tells you that um, you know the last title card is, and Doctor Sam Beckett never returned home, so he leaps forever. He never gets home. They misspelled his last name oh, in the on screen. Oh, man. They spelled it's supposed to be Beckett with two T's, I think. They left one T. The fucking last that's, episode of your goddamn that's show. Fucked. Yeah. <laughs> um, there is one that that I've been listening to recently. I should bring up. I just I just thought about that as you were 
talking about some of these movies and other things, and and the the kids from Kentucky. Yep. So uh, it's called the IMDb Journey Podcast. Oh, the, uh, we're friends with those guys on Twitter. Yeah, they're, yeah. Have you listened to any of it? No, but there aren't those guys that do the two hundred and fifty. They're they're going through the top rated movies on IMDb. They're they're from Australia. Yes. Yeah. And I listen to the Countdown Pod yeah. from Australia. No, those no. guys are really funny. These I've guys are these guys are good. They've actually mentioned us a couple times because I've emailed or messaged called? them. The IMDb Journey Podcast. Yeah, we're friends with them on Twitter. Yeah, um, they do some interesting voting on Twitter and or Twiddler, whatever. Yeah, Just Twiddler. Keep Twiddler. calling it Twiddler because we do that. But they're pretty good. I mean, it's funny. It's different. They they get a little heavy into the details of the plots of the movie. I don't need all that. You know, that's what fast forward hmm. for. <laughs> so before, I mean, I mean, we're going to talk about the podcast that you listen to. Oh, have we talked about the podcast that you listen to? Uh, yeah, I mean, well, well, I'll, just I'll, yours. I'll throw Just yours. I'll throw a couple. I, I, I mine. again, not every episode, <laughs> but I've listened to um, some of chat, hanging with chat. Yeah. See, your your show, I I never really listened to because you do everything visually. You're like on Facebook Live all the time. Facebook Live, I was getting uh, big numbers. Right, like, so that's where I would normally see your stuff. When yeah. you were, uh, what was the guy's name you were doing the show with? Uh, Hey, the one most recently. What was his name? The one that I was supposed to do an episode with you, and I, I, I had to work. I got stuck. I don't know who you talking Boy, about. How many are for you? Oh, Aaron. 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 Yeah, yeah. Right, right. Uh, the one you were doing with Aaron. Um, hmm. I saw quite a bit of those. Pax the and Popcorn I used to watch. Aaron, who would look un- very uncomfortable at times yeah. when he's sitting next to Chad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In, in particular reasons. Uh, um, no, for, no, no, no particular reasons. For me, I, I, uh, I probably have about 25 on my pod catching list, and uh, I only probably listen to four on a pretty weekly basis. Goes to the Stratosphere because they're a really good comic book podcast. So Wizard because uh, they do comic movies, stuff like that. Ghost. Um, not another nerdy podcast I like a lot, and that was one of the guys from So Wizard. He broke off, did his own mm-hmm. thing. They disappeared for like five or six months and come back. Yep. Uh, that's another show that I like the chemistry between the guys. Um, a lot of times the stuff they talk about is it's it's the same as our show and all these other shows, but I like those guys. Um, Rock Candy, I really love. I do not listen to every episode weekly, but I go back and listen to them. Um, those girls are we had them on here. They were down here. They're awesome and uh, a really good show. And probably uh, Mobile Horror Companion is the one as well that I I listen to every episode. I, they they did an, Mobile Horror Companion did an episode that was like an hour long, all about the Friday the Thirteenth video game that's like on xbox live which i have no interest in i give a fuck about and i listen to it yeah you know um big ones i don't really listen to any like you were saying like all the, the like I Conan O'Brien. A lot of big ones, i don't yeah. listen to any of the big ones but i do anytime something interesting pops up like countdown podcast from australia uh so wizard uh, joey from so wizard is a big fan of theirs and um they they put up polls on twitter and i've answered polls as pine and comics and they'll read us off so i started listening and, and they do top 10 lists every week so a couple weeks ago it was Top ten most heroic moments in movies. You know, I, I John hates it. Me and Lloyd are like list guys, mm. and uh, and I'll be honest with you, something weird about it. Like maybe you find this too. Something soothing about the Australian accent. Yeah, it's just it's oh, just yeah. different to hear someone talking instead of like sounding like us. Yeah, you know, you hear these guys talking. You know, hey, I'll listen to the Hellboy. Stupid episode. Americans. Yeah, they, they, they shit on Hellboy the movie for an hour, but I listen to it. But no, uh, we got our start. Me and John uh, several years ago. Our friend Vinny. Who uh, so me and John met in a comic book store. We met. I met Vinny in a comic book store, the same comic book store, and uh, this was like in probably early 2015. And I hadn't seen Vinny in person in probably like seven or eight years. And um, he just posted one day on uh, Facebook. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm, I did a couple episodes of a podcast. Uh, we mostly talked about wrestling. Um, I'm Always looking to wrestling. do pop culture. Always wrestling. Yeah, we come back Always. to wrestling a lot. <laughs> I'm looking to do pop culture type stuff. Hit me up if you want to do something. And, uh, you know, I mean, not to, not to bring this down, but my wife had just been diagnosed with cancer and it was just like a shitty time in my life. And I, I honestly looked at that and I went, that might be something to get my mind off of stuff. Yeah. So I just messaged her and said, dude, I'll come do it. And like, literally it was like, uh, like a Friday. He's like, come over mo- Tuesday morning and we'll do two episodes. We did two episodes and, uh, I did listen to those and I was like, kind of like, Ugh. <laughs> but you know what? I'm like, I'm like, you know, Vinny is one of those guys. He's very opinionated. And uh, and I thought it was interesting talking to him about this stuff. And he was like, let's do a couple more. And I'm like, okay. So this is becoming a thing now. We do a couple more, and maybe we did up to five episodes total, me and him. And he said, like, what, what could we do to kind of open the show up a little bit? And I'm like, like 
I said, I don't know why I thought of him, but you know, I, I, I kept in touch with John for years and, and, you know, talked to him on Twitter, uh, Facebook quite a bit. And I said, and then Vinny knew him. So I said, why don't we get Sir John on the show? I'm like, he'll fucking, he'll, he'll level it up a little bit. So I, I don't <laughs> know. I, I, I don't even know. I messaged John and I mean, did you, do you remember like being interested or being like, this is bullshit? Or? I, I remember Vinny's original post yeah. and I was interested then, but it was right around the time of, of Gary Khan. If I remember right, yeah, it was er, it was early part of the year. Nothing interferes with you. No, well, God. I didn't have time. I didn't have time for any of that. Plus, I, I mean, with the, depending on what year it was, with all the games I was preparing, I'm gonna that, I'm I'm gonna go with it just, fifteen. It was 2015. Yeah, I, I don't really remember, but it 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 just was a crazy time, and I was like, yeah, I'll talk to him after, and it just slipped my brain until you messaged me. Yeah, and I was like, oh yeah, right, yeah, yeah that sounds cool. So what basically was a casual, like, let's do this, became like a year and a half and 70-plus episodes. Yeah. And real momentum. Love Vinny, but the only one that didn't have momentum to move forward was uh, Vinny. Was and, Vinny, yeah. In 2015, that's around moved. the time I met you. Yeah, and that was around the time I met you yeah. at our at the same comic book store yeah. at, at a much later time. Different location. Different location, and uh, we kind of just became the guys that talked in the comic book store. I think the first, first time I really met you and talked to you is... Uh, you were on your way to New York Comic Con. Right. And I had bought, well, I didn't really purchase it, but Mike got, gave, it, gave it to me. Sketch cover. Walking sketch back. cover. And I said, oh, I got nothing to do with this. I'm not going to any con, so I don't need to purchase it. He goes, well, you ordered it. I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> whatever. And you were there, and you said, oh, I could get you a sketch or a signature or something on there. I think I said I could try. Something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, you'd do that for me? Yeah, I mean, we didn't even know each other at the time. And you said sure, so I gave it to you. I said, "All right." Comic and book we, stores we are, should names. be comic book stores should be very communal places. And, yeah, and in the best of times, and they, they can are. be. Absolutely. And the best of times, they are. We yes. see that at Boom Tube in Southington yeah. with Dan quite a bit. Yeah, um, yeah. So I took your book. I got. I didn't get it signed. We, yeah, right. You, you didn't. I mean, it's, it was Robert Kirkman. I think. We were uh, yeah. Going for. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> funnily unlikely. Enough, funnily enough, two friends of ours. Uh, we were what me and Lou were walking into Artist Alley as they were walking out, or vice versa. They're like, look at look at my phone. They got a picture with Robert Kirkman who was walking through the hallway the opposite way. Oh yeah. So we just totally missed him. But yeah. so yeah, so we ended up doing the show for I think seventy plus episodes. That was quite a few. It was we're we're, we're starting to get interviews. Yeah. Our, our very last, me and John, <laughs> our very last thing we ever did for From the Hip was we interviewed Steve Bissett, the guy who created you know co-created John Constantine and who was a you know a Swamp Thing artist and, and a, a bunch of other credits and is a really cool guy. And uh, and Vinny decided, uh, like John was joking earlier, uh, except for Shane moved to down the road. Vinny was talking about moving to Florida forever. Yeah, you know those people in your life that talk about moving somewhere and never do it. Yeah, Vinny actually did it. Like amazingly, after much talk about it, he 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 buckled down and did it. And I mean, we had gotten in to do some great stuff at like CT Fig, which is a gaming convention. Yep. We were the live like kind of like show there. It was really taken off. Excuse me, and yeah, we met a lot of really good people. Through <coughs> we that met a lot of great people. Silly podcast, yeah. And then it just it ended. Vinny moved away. It ended, and uh, he went down to Florida. And me and John were kind of up here, and we decided we're going to move forward. Uh, started getting all the equipment together. We took like six months from doing anything, and then we started doing this. And uh, and then somehow early on, I don't even know how it was your first episode. Wasn't and the first episode you had? I th- were you at Gary Con? You were talking about Gary Con. Our first, first episode was episode, about Gary Con. Yeah, because yeah. it was re- it was in April. We recorded, and right? you had yes. probably yeah. come back with Malort. Probably. And you mentioned Malort, <laughs> and yeah. at that point, I had already had your uh, phone number, so I texted you because you said anybody who wants to do Malort is welcome to come on the show. That's right. That oh, was, yeah. Do a no. shot of Malort, yeah, and I we, did, and. I gotta, I gotta get more bottles of that. And yeah. then, and then we had a game night here, and, and you just kept drinking Malort. And I came over for game and night, and that's why I, I named you the Manster. Right? I did the Malort, and I just kept drinking it over and over. <laughs> yeah, Malort is. A, yeah, have you heard of the Malort thing? I've it's heard a, of it. Disgusting. We don't have any anymore. Uh, I can uh, get more. Yeah, but I mean, like now. I still, right. I want people to come over and do it now because it's been like a year since. Yeah, we've I, had missed, it. Well, yeah, I missed no, the Malort I, challenge. Yeah, I know. I, I couldn't get any this year. It, it and was, they were, they were sad because I bought like six bottles when I was out there and couldn't come back with. And the Malort, you get it from. It, it's mostly distributed only in the Chicago area, but the new distributor or new, new distiller is actually trying to expand out to get it to 
further places. I can't. I, 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 I'll never you, drink it again, but I can't wait to get a bottle of it here. You can, so we can, you can get it in it. D.C. You can get it on the East Coast. It's just a matter of who distributes it and right. who picks it up and who's willing to sell it. The Malort <laughs> Challenge is one of the few elements of the show that we brought over from From the Hip because we yeah. did the Malort Challenge on From the Hip as well. I still have the video. It's That's on, great. It's the on video. Facebook page. That's a hilarious yeah. video. Yeah, we didn't bring over it's like the, for, the one and only time you drank it. It was, it was horrifying. <laughs> we had a we had a, we actually had a character on from on from the hip called from the hip bot that I used to do. Oh yeah, we yeah. didn't bring him over. He's yeah. he's been dead for years. <laughs> he was he was he was an irritable robot <laughs> that used to just like get pissed off when him and Vinny would start arguing back and forth. Um, but yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> Vinny, oh, I am God. tired of your bullshit. Oh, it was so much fun. <laughs> we had oh. a lot of fun, and uh, and yeah, yeah it was, so it was a good show. This is it, man. We're we're here. We're doing this. We're getting bigger, and and uh, yeah, we you got know, the radio program. Got the radio yeah. program. We got the YouTube stuff going on. So I mean, it's cool, and we get to like I said, one of the best parts is we get to meet guys like you, yeah. and like I said, the people we met we mentioned before, Rock Candy, Ghost and Strats, your mobile herb companion, all these people, you know, doing the same kind of thing just for yeah. the love of it, you know. Yeah. So crazy podcast, man. Yeah. So that's our podcast episode. Is there yeah. any, anything else you guys want to shout out? Anybody, uh, any podcasts out there that you, uh, that you want to recommend? If you could recommend one podcast to people out there right now, what would you say? Give it a listen. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> that's tough. Jesus Christ podcast. Jesus Christ. I'm sure would, there's one out there. I would say if, if, I, I I I try to recommend Comedy Bang Bang to a lot of people because a lot of people, even though it's such a popular podcast, a lot of people don't know about it. It's kind of weird, but, uh, it's a fun, fun podcast where it's like really silly, and uh, Scott Ackerman is a great host, and um, it's just a it's a fun hour and ten minutes, hour and twenty minutes, however long it is. And it's just it's straight up silliness, right? And it's fun. I mean, it's it's a little bit different than a lot of the. I think a lot of podcasters try to take it a little too serious about the topics that they're talking about, right? So like he he's just really goofy and. Uh, the, I honestly couldn't imagine like I, I like what we have here like like what you have like where you're doing something pop culture and it's loose and it's fun I couldn't Im- like we were talking about before like the the true crime ones or mm. like I couldn't imagine sitting in, in, and just reading off of something and like you well, know and there's mm-hmm. the people that research it too right if if they're actually doing it, it that's a lot of work and yeah. you, you got to make it worth your while see that's my problem I don't want I want to do a podcast but I don't want to research anything well, I, I, I just mean, want to talk it takes a lot of work I want to talk too like when we do like the pipe movie invitationals and, and, well, yeah, and stuff yeah, like yeah. that notes like yeah. I will yeah. take notes but I mean I'm t- I, I'm on like several podcast groups on Facebook and other you know social media stuff like that. And I'll read sometimes like, how long for each episode do you does it take you to prepare your notes? And some people are like, you know, four straight days. Yeah. Usually my notes are forty five pages. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Oh, shit. Yeah, you know, it's it's too much. Like that's, my notes, that's why we have the website. That's what I use the website right. for. It's where we put deeper uh, opinions or or yeah, reviews articles. or things that we just can't get to on the podcast. Right. But like, what are you fucking writing notes about? For like, you know, I'm serious. I'm not kidding. Like, oh, uh, you know, it took me. Editing, when I edit a show, it'll take me a solid day. Like, you know, like not a full day, but I mean like a night and maybe part of another night to get it all done for an hour plus show. But then people are like, well, it takes me a, a three hours to edit. And then it's like nine nine hours, ten hours of um, of research time. I'm like, what? Like, maybe that's what's good about a, uh, a um, pop culture show is for me, research is watching Game of Thrones <laughs> or going to the movies once in a while. And a lot of it's just opinion based. Right. Yeah. Like, totally it's not like. Based. You know, getting down to the nitty gritty of things and stuff like that. You know what my editing and my editing? I don't do any. Yeah, a lot, I just a release lot, the episode. A lot well, of shows Jerry's do. like that. Too. Yeah, Jerry's oh, like yeah. that. I, I, oh, and Jerry's another one. We didn't mention Jerry, Jerry uh, Morgan, F-O, yeah. FOJ Live. Jerry, it was Fistful of Jokes before, and you know, it was kind of him and, and his brother Andrew. Andrew's yeah. doing the Nomcast now, and Jerry's doing like Jerry's like got like a he's got a really out there premise for a show because. Yeah. He doesn't really have a premise for nah. the show. He is like literally a talk show. Yeah. Um, he's, he's got guys from you know the comic book industry. He has you know review shows. They did an Avengers review. Uh, he's got episodes about cryptozoology and, and Bigfoot. Yep. And he's got Bigfoot. Those are fun. Actually. No, they are. Yeah, yeah. They are. But that's what I'm saying. He's all over the map. And I, I appreciate that because you really – and he's got two co-hosts now uh, – uh, JM down in North Carolina and a guy named Logan, I think, in Indianapolis or Indiana. And they, you know, they Skype together and it, it's a fun show. But like, I like the idea that you can't pin that down, you know? The only n- negative thing I would say about that show is the quality, the sound quality. Yeah. It's just, it, it's hard to do a show when you're not all together and you're over bandwidth. Yeah. It's just like a lot of interruptions. Yeah. And a it's, lot of, it's one of the a reasons. A lot of dropping and. 
it's one of the reasons I don't do Skype stuff here is because we have the radio show for that. Yeah. So when we want to do interview shows, <clears throat> the radio is fine. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't like I've had friends <laughs> most of the time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I've had I've had friends that are like I said, some With of the, the people from other work. podcasts and stuff that yeah. want to do pint movie invitationals and stuff, but they live in like, you know, fucking yeah. West West Cambu. I'm like, I don't know. It, it just seems like a lot. Every time I've ever tried to set up Skyping on a show that I'm a guest on, it seems like it's a fucking nightmare. I don't want to even be dealing with that. You have to have two great, uh, well, if it's only two people, you got to have two go- a great uh, wireless or, you know, you got to have two gr- great internets. Right. right. And if only one of them is off, then it fills out the whole show. Right. So uh, it's just, and plus he's doing video. Like there's some video involved with it. Like, yeah. so it's like, it's kind of tough when you're doing more stuff things like that. to worry about more things. Yeah, to exactly. Yeah. It's I, li- I like being around people anyway. Like I like sitting next to you and talking to you. Yeah. Like, right. Looking you in the you know face talking to you. So, looking, yeah, it's, it, it, it's funny because so wizard is is uh, three. You know, it's uh, it's Mar- um, Mark Ellis, Joey. They live in uh, Massachusetts. They live, I think, like I think I asked Joey once they live several blocks away from each other. And uh, Audrey lives in uh, Aubrey. Pardon me, lives in Virginia. Yeah, right. And they they do it by Skype. Mm. And I was talking to Joey one day. All three I, of them. All three. They're all on Skype. No two are together. Okay. Uh, ever. They've done. Uh, they're on their two hundred and fiftieth episode. So yeah. I said, so um, how many times? How many episodes have you got? Well, no. Here's what it was. Was I said you guys should come on and do a pint movie invitational. The yeah. two of you pick a movie, come on, and we'll all do it together. And Joey said, uh, yeah, that'd be really weird to be in the same room with Mark Ellis. I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> He's like, we've, we've never been in the same room. I'm like, you've done 250 Ever? episodes. Ever. Oh, they've man. never. No, no. I No, no. They've been in the same room. They know each yeah, other. For the podcast. They've I never mean. recorded together once. So that's just like, to me, that's crazy. And they crazy. just live very Blocks close away to each from other. each other. Yeah. So I just, I found that funny. But um, yeah. I, I do. I, I, I agree. I like this better where it's like we could talk to each other. Uh, and you know, hang out before, other, hang out before, kind of yeah. you know, do some stuff and yeah. all that. Yeah, have a couple shitty so beers. I got a, one question. <laughs> yeah, how do you feel about um, people? There's been some certain like local ones that I've noticed uh, a little bit that are going behind a paywall. I hate it. Oh, Patreon, yeah. like where you have to? No, not it, not interested. I don't. I, I'm I'm a fan of uh, if you want to do some bonus. Yeah, bonus stuff. And people pay like a dollar or two dollars a month for to bonus get stuff. that bonus. Yeah, for bonus. bonus stuff only. But I've noticed some podcast like Hannibal Burris just did it. He's behind a paywall now. Right. I don't. I don't understand the the concept behind it. I mean, I, well, I understand that they want to get money, but I don't see like if, say say if Hannibal Burris has twenty thousand downloads in an episode, he's not going to get twenty thousand downloads if it's behind a paywall. He won't, right. but he'll get he'll still get enough to get paid. He, see, here's the thing: like we talked about the Hulu thing before. Is everybody loved Hulu and Netflix when it was all pay this for this, pay this for this, and now it's suddenly becoming well, we're taking this from that, and now this is going to happen. You know what I mean? It, it's suddenly becoming where going back to cable might be an option for people. Right. No, where, no, where? No. But I'm saying it's it, it's that we're getting to the point where all this stuff that was so great is starting to merge and disappear. Right. Podcast is a free fucking form. That's what right? I was for the most yeah. part. For the it most part, be. but what it should be. But but when these businesses, yeah. iTunes, start going. Oh well, the comedy bang bang is starting to get big numbers. Why are we giving that out for free? Right. You know what I mean. That's where I, I fear. I agree. I, like a show like ours, you know, a small level, you know, fun local show. Uh, if we had a Patreon, where I, I agree with this, where we, I'm I'm a member of a couple of these Patreons, where like once a month, or you give me an extra show that nobody else gets. That's cool, you know, because I'm a fan of the show. But the ones that I've seen, and I've seen a couple local ones, like you said, I won't name them, where all of a sudden they go straight to you have to pay for my show. Yeah. You know, me personally, like, even the shows I like a lot, unless it was like a buck, you know, and I was like, okay, this is worth it to me, most of them would go by the wayside. Well, let's, let's put it this way. So, the hardcore history that I like, uh, Dan Carlin's hardcore history, to correct myself from earlier. Oh, not <laughs> oh, thank, Dan you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, <laughs> Dan Harmon is the, the yeah. in town guy. No, yeah. no, Dan no, Harmon is the, but uh, anyway. So it's Dan Carlin. He releases a number of episodes that are free. But if you want to uh, listen to the earlier episodes or the newest episode, you have to pay for it. Right. But they're also four or five hours long. So I kind of. I, I, I kind of. Uh, I mean, yeah. Lloyd, Lloyd, would you. Wow. You listen to. You said a lot of podcasts. I wouldn't be paying for podcasts. I'm not against paying for a Patreon and getting special bonus issues. Right. I wouldn't pay for a weekly podcast. Do you pay for any podcasts no. at all? Do you Never. pay for any Patreons at all or Never. no? No. I haven't. Never. Yeah. I do, I do too. I, so, I do a couple. So but. Mark Norman, Mark Norman and Joe List, they do a po- podcast together, uh, Tuesdays with Stories. Um, so they meet up every Monday. They both live in New York. They're both comedians, like big time comedians. 
and they talk about like their gigs that they did during the week or whatever. They do something fun where um, one on one of their earlier episodes, they 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 said we're never going to do a Patreon, but you know if you guys come to our shows or something, you know we'll take a gift card or something. <coughs> so they uh, they talk about Chipotle a lot. So uh, last year when Joe, uh, I seen I've hung out with both of them. <coughs> So last year when Mark Norman was at Comics, we were going up to uh, see Little John uh, at uh, yeah, the, yeah. Cl- the, the club. And uh, I was like, come on, John- I mean, Mark. I was like, do you guys really get a lot of gift cards? And he, he had a backpack on. His backpack was full of gift cards. So what, what the fuck are people giving them for the gift cards? They're just giving them to him because they, they do a free podcast. Okay, so, so it's, any, like, it's like an Amazon, appreciation thing, Chipotle. Right? Yeah, yeah, I get that. So the, like, iTunes. He had a backpack full, and he's like, there's literally like probably like three or four grand in here. Worth of, <laughs> yeah, like all Chipotle. That's a lot of burritos. <laughs> all Chipotle. <laughs> it was oh, all Chipotle. Gosh. So like he, they started telling people like, don't give us Chipotle cards anymore. Like we do Uber and stuff like that too. So like they start getting Uber cards <clears> and stuff like that. Me and Liz was always we wanted to start doing something like that, but we never got around to it. I thought I thought. At one point, because John had talked about us eventually doing a Patreon. We have but, one. Oh, we have one. It's been up for almost two years now. Well, I remember you doing I just, one. I it's, got- not, it's not finished for a number of reasons. I mean, you can go on and actually put money towards it, but I don't promote it because we're I not, didn't even we're know not doing this. <laughs> yeah. I knew I knew at one no, point I, I set mean, it up within the first six months that we we yeah. started the podcast. I think I remember one that. of the one of the prizes is like a picture of you guys and you no, can sign no, it. No, there no, you go. No. Well, part, part of the <laughs> problem was uh, I know what you're part saying. Part of the problem was we weren't able to get the image that we had on a t shirt in the proper size. Uh, okay. that was one of the delays. There were a number of delays that I had, and, and I I never really completed it, but it's still there and you can still sign up for it, but we're not even prepared for any of it. Well, the know? good news is <clears throat> when we do do the Patreon and mm-hmm. we're ready for it, we're going to do one episode a month. It's a bonus episode for all of our listeners. But the bad news is it's always going to be about Star Trek Discovery, <laughs> 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 which is the episode nobody wanted to listen to. <laughs> so I did. I could come up with something. <laughs> I did. I started doing my live show, and that's where I get my money from, from uh, like the time that I put into doing my podcast and stuff. Right. I decided to do that live show. And uh, that's where I gain some money from so I can buy new equipment or, you know, eventually I'm going to have to buy a new computer, unfortunately. But Me too. Um, that's coming up pretty soon. <laughs> yeah. so. Mine's in pieces on my desk. <laughs> well, <coughs> I, I use Mac, so it's it's not it's a project to buy one. Yeah. It's like you got to take out a 401k loan. Yeah, yeah pretty much. <laughs> Expensive. Yeah. You gotta, you it's gotta, well you worth it, though. I'm telling you, right? I tell everybody it's well worth it. You got to make sure you have a hipster with you when you go in the store yeah. because they'll, they'll ignore you otherwise. I've, I've had my, I, I got one of, I, I got a new MacBook, but I have a MacBook Pro, but my other MacBook still works and it's like 12 years old. It's perfect. Like, you should have seen our, our nothing buddy. Nothing wrong with it at all. The, the buddy, our buddy uh, Mike Fulham that does the show with us once in a while. He brought his laptop <laughs> one time. I'm pretty sure it was from 1983. Mm. Yeah. It looked like a, it looked like a fucking suitcase nuke. Yeah. You know what I mean? It looked Weighed like 10 pounds. Yeah, 10 pounds looked like you had to have three keys to at the same time turn them and as switch the it, red switch. As long as it works. Yeah. It had that weird ding when you when it booted up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it had a ding. dot matrix printer. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh man. Uh, all right. Well, that has been our uh, our podcast episode of the podcast. Yeah. Uh, I think we uh, shouted out some good ones again. Let's not forget for local guys, check out uh, Rock Candy. They're up in uh, upstate New York. Yep. Awesome music podcast. Ghost Mobile of the Stratosphere uh, out of Pittsburgh. Mobile Horror Companion out of the Valley area. And oh, they're all over the place. They're another mm-hmm. one that does all the Skype stuff. So Wizard out of Mass. And uh, you you heard us talk about a whole bunch of different ones. FOJ Live and uh, the Nomcast. But most importantly, please start checking out. It'll be out pretty soon. Yes. Did I pod that? You do it better than me. Did I pod that? <laughs> <laughs> it is uh, It is Chad and uh, and Brian Quigan. Brian Quigan, yep. Right. Uh, and it, you guys are talking about Family Matt. Well, how many seasons did that fucking show last? Eight. And that was like a 22-episode season. Yeah. Five. 185 episodes. Plus, yeah. plus yeah. crossover Plus episode. crossover episodes. Probably about four crossovers. Well, well are you going to... What are, were the now, two crossover shows? Uh, step by Step. Which I don't recall. Step by step, step was by Patrick Duffy Patrick and Duffy. Suzanne uh, Summer. Suzanne Summers. Summers, and they had they were like it was like the Brady Bunch, but like in the nineties, they mm-hmm. had each had like a couple kids. Oh, uh, yeah, it was like the yeah the updated version of updated the version. Brady Bunch. Uh, oldest daughter, I think, has yeah. uh, voice uh, voice talent now. Uh, maybe Nicole Tom was that one of them? I don't know. I don't maybe. know names. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I know I, that they had that weird uh, brother the, that lived the, in the van in the driveway. He wasn't what? the brother. He was the cousin, right? Yeah, he was the cousin. He was, like, he was like, whoa, that guy, right? Cody. 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 Yeah. 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 
<laughs> now, what you Whoa. should do, what you should do, and I'm going to implore you to do this, and you should do this later on. Joey Lawrence? Is, Whoa. is <laughs> Nick from Family Ties? That's Whoa. Blossom. Uh, Nick from Family Ties. <laughs> <laughs> what you should do is now Family Matters uh, spun off of Perfect Strangers. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Let's say you should go back to maybe the episode where maybe they introduced the character. Uh, negative. No, negative? No. no. I've never seen that show ever in my life. You, you watch oh, fucking Family Matters? Show. You've never seen Larry and Balky? I was born in 82, dude. That was like 85, man. That should have been I was like three. All right. All right. <laughs> I forget. You're a youngin. I'm not young, but yeah, I didn't. I didn't. I, uh, I, I, the, I, no. I think by stop. then they didn't have like uh, all the local stations that we used to have. Yeah. Where they would roll like, like I Love Lucy constantly and shit like that. I was just about to say I'm from Maine. We didn't have TV, so they, yeah, they, they had rabbit ears, but they didn't catch anything. Well, we had a we had a we had one of those TVs that had the, like the knob on it that had like the bottom knob was like UHF. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. And, it but it never worked because we didn't get any channels. We we literally growing up we had like six channels. We really? like grew up in like 1970s like even though it was like 1990s. It was me. Well, I only had three <laughs> channels. Well, yeah, you're also <laughs> four. <laughs> four. You, you always forget. Well, PBS. Yes, I forget exactly. PBS. Everyone yeah. forgets PBS. Yeah. Come on, don't forget <laughs> PBS on a Saturday afternoon when you're flipping around and you see an episode of Doctor Who that you you're yeah. like, "What the fuck is <laughs> I, this?" I didn't I didn't even know MTV existed uh, before I moved. Really? Never even heard of it. ESPN, never heard of it. I'm trying to remember when I put cable in the house, and that was probably 88 or 89. No VHS. Oh, yeah. We had no tapes. VHS. Oh, yeah. Our God. first. I remember, remember you had the big box. That was your remote. Yep. And there was a wire to the TV. Oh, yeah. You had the, two and had rows. the clickers. The clickers. Yeah, right? I, two rows I, I only remember that because everybody else in the neighborhood had one, but we didn't. Oh, no. The only movie theater we had was uh, about 40 minutes away, and it was a... It only showed Tron. No, it only showed <laughs> movies that are out of the theaters. Right. Oh, the 99 cents. Yeah, we had so that. I remember I, yeah. it was a dollar to go. Yeah. I remember yeah. going. The only time I've ever went to that movie theater was I went and saw Grumpy Old Men. Wow. A oh, wow. year after it came out. <laughs> wow. It was great. <laughs> that was a fun movie. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> it looks like Chuck is taking the old skin boat to Tuna Town. <laughs> I always remember at the end of Grumpy Old Men, Burgess Meredith's character. He was the he was Jack Lemmon's yep. father, <laughs> and it's this whole post credit scene where he's doing different euphemisms yep. for sex. Yeah, and there's like fucking twenty of them, and they're fucking <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> All right, podcast episode. Hey. Chad Dizzle Davis. Yo yo, Sir John. Yes, sir. The Manster. Yep. Johnny Ganache. All right, don't get too excited and say see you just yet there, Slappy. Um, I, uh, I'm i here a few days, well, actually a couple weeks after we recorded that episode, probably a month. I'm listening to it, editing it, and realizing that there was a couple of shows that definitely deserved uh, some credit that we did not throw into the mix when we recorded that episode, and that was not due to us not you know liking them, or these are shows we like, it's just a case of... Uh, When we talked, it was just kind of a freewheeling conversation, and you forget stuff sometimes, but the difference with the pint is, is we try to make it right, and uh, we're going to give shout-outs to a couple of more uh, shows that we think you should check out and why you'll enjoy them. Going to start off with our friend Shane Beauregard. Uh, Shane is a good friend of Chris Frodell, Mr. Arguing With Myself. Uh, Check him out as well, but he is one of the Six Packers, and Shane Lives down in North Carolina and has a very cool show. Uh, usually pretty short, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, sometimes an hour. Uh, he just hit his 100th episode, so he's been around for a while. And he talks about uh, Netflix shows and stuff coming out that week. And he goes over box office and he goes to the movies a lot and does reviews. So check out Media Mosh. It's a very cool show. Uh, you can follow him on Twitter. Another friend of the show with a very cool show is uh, Dino. Dino has a show called Huh? Yes, that's right. He had a show before called uh, Awa. So he, there's a little bit of a theme there. Uh, Dino and his wife Michelle, but they do a show together and they kind of blend a lot of things into it. Uh, they're horror movie fans. They talk about horror movies. They talk about, uh, they talk to, uh, independent horror directors and, and, and writers and actors, stuff like that. And, uh, they're also Christians. And hey, I'm not a Christian, but it does, does not defer, deter me from listening because they're not heavy handed with it. Uh, but they add that in and family life into this, uh, show. So it's kind of a mishmash of, uh, of different ideals, but it's a, it's a cool show, a very good show. And, uh, and Dino's and Michelle have, have great personalities and, uh, and, uh, always interesting. 
And uh, I, I have a feeling, much like Shane, if, if Dino lived up in the Connecticut area, uh, we'd probably all be uh, uh, fast friends. Uh, I also want to throw out um, a couple others. Uh, out of uh, the Massachusetts uh, area, the Angry Geeks, uh, Lewis and Jamie, they're very cool. They have a podcast. They also have a public access television show. Um, if you know the Angry Geeks, then you know that they, uh, they also had a member named Jeremy. Jeremy is no longer with them. And that leads me into my next one. So the Angry Geeks are just what you'd think. Uh, comic books, movies, stuff like that. And Jeremy, uh, who's no longer with them, uh, has just started his own podcast. Uh, it is uh, Loose Cannon. It, it, it features Jar Jar Jeremy. And I think he's done about three episodes so far. Uh, a couple interviews with comic creators um, and things like that. And uh, I've listened to a couple of them so far. And very good. Jeremy's got a very big personality and, uh, and we're happy that he is podcasting again. Uh, and a couple others that I've just kind of popped up on the horizon. I'm going to give these guys shout outs. Uh, I haven't listened to as many of their shows yet, but I'm getting into them. Uh, Forgotten Cinema is a very cool show out of Connecticut, our home state. And they basically go over movies that have people have forgotten. You know, not, maybe not the you just hits ever. Uh, for example, they did an episode on the 18 movie recently. Uh, they did one on the 1970s thriller Sorcerer with uh, Roy Scheider. Two guys, uh, and they just they kind of deconstruct the movie. It's very cool. Uh, another one that I've been digging is uh, called Bill and Frank Eat Pop Culture. It's also got one of the cooler names of, uh, of any uh, podcast out there. Bill and Frank Lifelong Friends, and essentially they eat pop culture. They talk all about, you know, again, you see a pattern here. They talk all about movies and uh, they talk all about tv and comic books and uh, even though they keep claiming they're not a wrestling podcast they talk about wrestling quite a bit uh, i'm not a wrestling fan but again the good podcasts can throw curveballs at you uh so like i said uh-huh they they have the christian angle and uh and it it, it just goes right along with the rest of the show bill and frank uh i want to call their show bill and ted all the time just just know that uh, they have the angle of, they throw the wrestling stuff in there, I'm not a wrestling fan so much, and I still listen to it, and I'm still interested in what they're talking about, I don't fast forward or anything like that, so those are two uh, really cool new shows, and uh, there's a couple others, there's one called uh, Black Girls uh, Do Stuff Too, I think they're out of maybe the DC area, a couple young uh, black girls who are uh, into nerdy stuff, and, uh, and the title says it all, hey, black girls can be into this stuff too. And uh, they have a YouTube channel, and they're doing stuff like that. And obviously a podcast as well. Uh, it, it's only maybe several episodes in. I don't think it's very, very old yet. But I just wanted to throw those out there and just say that these are a couple shows that uh, we enjoy as well here at The Pint. And uh, we didn't hit them up in the main chunk of the episode, but I wanted to make sure that they got their due. And uh, we appreciate them. They're all very supportive on Twitter, and uh, they're, they're good friends. Uh, they're all good friends of the show. So we wanted to get that out there. So for the Manster and for Sir John and for uh, Chad Dizzle Davis, who was here with us that night, see ya. It's over, Johnny. It's over. Nothing is over. Nothing. You just don't turn it off.